Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. You can see the lady um, on the red dress and he's walking through this uh, this pathway. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe. You have to subscribe it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification, my new videos and tutorial. Okay, and you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see the five millimeter colors, the brushes that we're going to need and all the things that we're going to need to paint this tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start now. I'm going to do the sketching first. This is the first step. I have here the raw umber. Yeah, maybe I'll just use this uh, raw umber directly. Because I, I'll just, I will paint a dark color today. I will paint a very good contrast painting. So here I'm going to put the cliff. This will be a rocky cliff. I'm going to put the light here in the back of this cliff. And this part here will be the pathway. This part will be dark. And then I'm going to put the, the lady here uh, walking or something. So I'll do, I'll do the sketch later. And here. I'm going to put something uh, up a huge bridge. There. Okay. And it is this uh, on the back will be a misty background here, but it will be a cliff this will be dark here and the light coming from here striking to the lady yeah something like this everyone so there yeah so I am going to start now and I'm not sure we will move a little here or maybe this is enough okay so I'm going to start by putting the bright colors but you can also try to spray it with using this uh, water spray so that uh, it will become smooth uh, it will be easy for us to to drag on the canvas but not so much wet everyone it should be enough wet so I have some yellow and then white try to put it here yeah I want a bright yellowish tone uh, with a little orange at light yellow stone first there going to add a little red and then yellow to make some orange stone and white there We are now in the second step, everyone, which is the underpainting. To add some white and then yellow. Okay, so we're gonna do first this underpainting, everyone. I'm gonna make this really bright in colors. There. 
and then I'm gonna use this a little brownish and blue purple so red and then blue and then white some more white I'm gonna make this on this uh, this bridge so this is just another underpainting everyone so uh, later we can put the details So I'm, I'm using purple color here and then some blue umber I'm gonna put it here you can clean your brush I'm gonna use this blue umber with a little blue to make some dark colors here way darker there. Okay, so this is a cliff here everyone, so I'm going to make it dark. And then some raw umber. Okay, so I will let it dry first for at least five minutes and then I'm gonna go back adding some more details Okay, everyone, so I think the paints already dry now and I'm going to start adding the details Yeah, I'm going to start the cliff here adding the cliffs and whatever I need to put there Okay, so I will be using now a bigger brush. It's the number 8 part brush And I'll start using now this uh, purple, so blue and red, uh, more red and white. It will be lighter brown because uh, this place is kind of misty. Okay, some more red and white.
can also spray it with water put some white I think I'll use a, a bigger brush. Make sure that you clean good your brush. I'm going to use a little orange. It's uh, going to be a little difficult everyone, but I think you can also do it. So I'm using now a little orange colors. I'm going to make this one a little misty. But it should be a lot more orange everyone, the colors. There. Okay, another orange color. I'm going to put it in this top. There. And then I'm gonna put uh, some purple, so, but it will be much more reddish purple, everyone. And then much more white. You can blend it a little here. There. With a little uh, reddish. some white and then reddish there and then more white I'm going to blend it here on the on the edge but I want to add a little more yellowish So I want to make this part really burn look like uh, there's a cliff here. It is behind the cliff. I want to make it look like this. There. I'll change my brush to a smaller brush make sure that you clean your brush clean good I'm going to add some white on my palette and then here I'm gonna add some white and then yellow and then red. There you can start putting some lights on the cliff here. There. 
and then much more orange yellow and the red I'm going to put some white and you can start putting some orange colors here orange highlights I'm going to put more white with a yellow there okay much more yellow everyone I'll try to put some much more yellowish on the bottom part uh, with a little red to make it orange here and you have to blend it here okay and then I'm going to add more yellowish and white with a little red there and yellow just put some more yellow one so that this part will look like glowing So some yellow here. There. And now I'm going to put some highlights. So I'm going to put some white and then yellow. Then start now putting some highlights here, everyone. So this is a cliff here. There. There are plenty of rocks. And also here. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to add more highlights so the light is coming from this part everyone so it will be much more orange It's harder that uh, my highlights will be on the on the side, uh, so I should I should put it on the right side, everyone. Yeah, I need to move. Okay, so this is a, a hill here or a very huge cliff.
There. I'll be in little. I'll put more lights or highlights everyone. There. And I'm gonna make this uh, this bridge a little darker. So I'm gonna use some uh, raw umber with a little red and then blue color. And of course white with some red and then white So I, I will just make this a little more darker. So I'm gonna put some rumber here. I want to create uh, much more contrast. Okay, so I'm going to use an orange color, red and yellow, more yellow, I'll put it here. And then some raw umber also. This keep uh, this uh this uh, bridge everyone is uh, an arc bridge it's an arc old bridge there and in this part here I'm gonna try to make it darker so I have the rue umber and the blue But, uh, I'll make this one a little darker. Blue, umber, and blue. 
need a little white. I'm gonna put rumber. Also put uh, some raw amber, everyone. Some plain raw amber. I'm gonna. It is a really huge clip here. A little red raw amber and the blue. And then I'm gonna use some white. Uh, this one a little misty color. see the bridge here everyone and I'll try to put some I'll be using a smaller brush now here I'm gonna put some perspective here on the bottom I will make it a much more yellowish I'm gonna put a uh, rumber and then yellow here. Yeah, I'll put some perspective, but it will be it should be a little more darker. gonna see the perspective here and then I'm gonna put some lights there I'll be using a smaller brush I'll be using the number one uh, round brush okay, so I think I'm gonna need to get some new brush here I have here some yellow and then white. I want to exaggerate a little the lights there. Here. There, so. Uh, the light's coming from here on this uh, very bright light on this part. But I need to put some more highlights, especially here. Okay. There. 
so you can see how great the light coming from this part here everyone Also put some rocks there. Put rubbing rocks. Like that. Okay. So the light is coming from this part here striking through here uh, it's look like a, a sunrise light everyone you can also put some big rocks on this cliff okay so we can see now that uh, we have one source of light and so far it looks good I'm using the number one liner brush everyone there okay so i will not exaggerate so much yeah but i like also to exaggerate things so i'm gonna put some white here so i want to create a very bright lights here there that is been very bright on this part okay I'm going to clean my brush and I'll be using now the number two nylon flat brush is way smaller flat flat brush and I will be using this yellow here because I'm gonna create some Uh, glowing lights here on the side of the building on the bottom of the building here I mean on the beach so I will create some orange yellow and the, and the red okay Okay, so I'm going to put some more lights here. It should be orange, everyone. Okay, now I'm going to make this part a little more purple, and this part should be much more orange. So I have here some 
red and blue it's what it should be much more red, reddish brown or reddish purple and then white Yeah, it's a little too rough, everyone. I'll just try to use an orange. So this one will become curved or something. Should be lighter purple, everyone. And more red. Yeah, so it should be a little more darker here everyone because it's covered by the uh, it has been covered by the lights it was covering the lights or it was covering the lights okay so here I'm gonna put some light there I'm using this umber and a little red and blue And I'm going to put some details everyone, like the bricks here. So I'm gonna put some lines. There it should be on a perspective also. So the our perspective is here okay There. 
Okay, I'm going to put highlights here. Okay, so much more orange everyone, but I need to clean my brush. Red and yellow and then white. Much more reddish, yeah. Okay, this is a uh, yeah. I got the highlights here. There are some. These are some rocks here, everyone. And it's uh, this uh, bridge was laid down the rocks, and then I'm putting some highlights here. Okay, and here one I'm gonna put more a little darker details. Should be much more uh, purple, so red and the blue. And I'm gonna put some white. Uh, more white there. And more red. I'm going to put some more reddish. Should be darker, everyone, but not much more reddish. There. should be very bright on that part everyone because because this sun will cover some uh, parts here to make it a uh, brighter like some rays there Okay, so you can see a little more details there on the cliff. Yeah. And then I will be using this uh, brush, everyone. Liner brush uh, with the white and the yellow. I'll put more details on the on this part here. I'll put some more highlights, but it should must be much more yellowish.
there okay yeah so far it looks good and then I will try to put some a uh, few rocks there on the on this uh, bridge everyone just a little details but it should be much more bluish so I'm gonna use this uh, red and the blue So, it's a random bricks here. Just use this pressure run to create those details there. Yeah, just create those random bricks. I will not uh, make it a uh, so good because uh, I think I'll, I'll have no time for this. Just create a dots there. That it looks like there's some rocks there on this uh, cliff, on this uh, bridge. The color is much more bluish. Okay. So yeah, it takes really, really much more time for doing this everyone. So I'm not uh, gaining much time here. I will proceed here. Yeah, I will put again some rocks here, whatever I'm gonna find there. So I'll using this raw umber and the blue and then white and then red. I'm gonna put more blue. Yeah. Raw umber. I think it's uh, way lighter. There are plenty of rocks here. I'll put uh, some raw umber. Yeah, just create plenty of uh, details there, everyone. I uh, took it some more. But it's like uh, rocks there, plenty of rocks. But I will put some lights also there. From this light here it will be much more orange so white blue, umber I have red and yellow there Yeah, some parts will be covered by the lights, uh, by the casted shadow.
there. Yeah. Yeah, so far it looks good. Okay, so I need also to put some rocks here on the on the side of the road. I think I'll put some a little dark colors here on the on the pathway. So I'll be using this somber and then white. the plain room for everyone there okay I'll also put some road lines there And some more orange. I'm gonna put some more orange here. But I need to refill some uh, paints on my palette. I have some yellow and then red and also white. More yellow, yeah. And then we can create some highlights here on these rocks. There. Maybe it's, it's uh, needs to be much more orange. So I'm going to exaggerate some colors there everyone. Like this orange here. I want to create the lights, good lights here. So I want to exaggerate a little those lights.
So I'm gonna use some light yellow here. Want to exaggerate some things here, everyone, on the especially here on this part. It should be very, very bright. There. Okay. I'm gonna try more, more orange. Okay, there, so we can now see clearly this world there and we can see a very good light. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put one huge tree there on the side. Okay, so I think I'm gonna move on this part here. Uh, it's a dark part and I'm gonna put much more like um, bluish color there, bluish tone. So first I'm gonna use this umber and white. some plenty of rocks here there So I'm going to use some blue umber and the blue. I want to put purple, so red and white, and then blue color. There are also some rocks here on the sides of the road. There. Then we're gonna have some umber. there umber and the blue and then I'm gonna put some red I'm gonna make it a little more darker
You can spray it with water if it feels hard. I'm gonna use again some darker colors like blue and the red. So this should be look like a very rocky uh, cliff everyone. It should be a very rocky cliff here. Okay, I will enhance more of the colors. I'll make it lighter and also I'm gonna put some more, much more orange. So I'll put it here. There. And also here, it has also some reflection coming from the ground. Some diff uh, the diffuse reflections. And also here we can create some reflections coming from the ground. That's it. So you can see some really stone there because yeah, it has been reflected from coming from this part here to here. Get a little lighter. Okay. There. And then I'm gonna put more uh, blue stone. So I have here some blue and the rumber. With a little light. And red. Okay, usually when it's dark, everyone, and there's no other lights, actually these are some some reflections you can see, which is some looks like some bluish tone there. It's a random reflection and it will create the cold and hot colors in your painting. There.
there so yeah that looks good you can now see some darks and lights there and I really like the part that there's pretty dark place there and also you can see a very great light from, from that part so it's really looking good and now I think I will put the lady here walking yeah yeah so to complete this painting I think I will try to put the lady here walking uh, behind that uh, below the the bridge okay so I'll be using I think uh, if you have pencil brown you can use the pencil but I will be using the this brush number one liner brush a zero liner brush and I will use paint for the sketch I think I will use white paint you can also use pencil one if you if it's hard for you to use the so you should not make mistakes on this I'll try to put it here yeah maybe here I'm gonna make it a little big, uh, bigger, because I want to emphasize this one. Um, I'm not sure if it fits the perspective, but yeah, maybe I'll just make it a little bigger. There, at least uh, wearing a, an umbrella or holding an umbrella. So I'm gonna use this white and yellow. I'll use this uh, as the highlights. Then also here. Okay. Now I'll be using the little bigger brush. It is brush number two nylon flat brush. And I'll be using some red. It yeah, just red with a little romber. Yeah. She's wearing a long gown. Yeah, it's like an old days, everyone.
Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put some colors on the on the umbrella. But I'm going to use this uh, blue, red. It should be much more like uh, purple, everyone. I'm going to put some white. Try to put some more white. So we can have just a blend on the top part. Okay. And then I will try to put the hair. So I have blue under umber and then the red under umber. And then I'll put some shades, so umber and the red. And then I will try to put some casted shadow everyone. So Roomber, I'm gonna put some a little bluish. Should be here. There, so she has now some lights or casted shadow. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to yeah put some more details, everyone. Yeah, so far it looks good. I will use. Uh, smaller brush and I need to put some rumber blue umber and white then I use some yellow and the red yeah we'll put some There and also here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little 
shades using a wrong brand blue color to make it darker I will put now details everyone so on the top of, the, uh, of this umbrella there's something here okay yeah I need to put some details on the on the dress so blue umber and the red and you see now the smooth brush So it should be dark here, everyone. There. Then I'll try to put a little uh, tiny details on the on the dress. So I'm gonna use this white, blue umber, and the blue. Or you can use the red to make it light purple. Um, look like an old designs there okay and also uh, I'll try to put a little details on the the umbrellas okay then some lights here striking and also some highlights everyone but it should be much more yellowish uh, yellowish uh, white or white and yellow white and yellow there put into the on the right side and also here I'm using the number one in the rest of one create a much more better highlights yeah maybe I, want, I need to put a very bright light here there okay yeah so one more everyone, I'm going to put more highlights and designs or details on the dress. So here I'm going to put some more red. And then some blue designs on the umbrella. So white, just white and blue. There. 
here. This uh, can see some designs there. And a little light spots on the on the white dress. Okay, I think that will be enough. Okay, so I think that will be enough, everyone, for the for the for the lady walking. So I'll just try to retouch now. I'll put some some plants or whatever that I need to put there. So far, it looks good, and the lady looks realistic. And I think all I have to do is put some plants there, trees, and whatever I need to put there. Okay. So I will put some highlights first. I uh, mean, cast this shadow. So here I have some blue umber. I uh, mean, blue umber. Yeah, I'll put it here. Yeah, I'm gonna put some some more umber. Put some casted shadow from this uh, woman walking, and you can clearly see that the light's coming from here on this part, striking to this woman. Okay, so I will be using my uh, fan brush for some trees or plants there. So I'll be using some blue. And yellow and a little red more yellow yeah I think it's way darker and I put some more yellow and the white Gonna put uh, some pine trees here. Okay, just just a tapping technique, everyone. And also here. That's it. I try to make some greens and red. I think I'll try to put some yellow. I think so. uh, maybe this will talk me more than two hours around. Yeah, I will put some little highlight, greenish highlight here. 
on this old small pine tree there and also here Also on the ground, everyone, I need to put some trees here. So, some grasses or bushes. Okay, to make it not look uh, very lonely. And I think here, everyone, I'm going to put some more. But it should be much more like a little orange color and white. there yeah just a little slowly everyone It's just a topping technique and cover. That's it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna use some yellow, uh, red and yellow. More yellow. I'm gonna put it here. Just do it. Put it in the sides, everyone. On the tip of uh, right side, and then you can put some highlights here on the right part. There, and also here. There. And then the other one. If you have a smaller fan brush, everyone, that will be much better. So, some grasses. There. Yeah, so far it looks good. Okay. Now I'll try to put some much more uh, darker plants on the other side. So here. Yeah. 
just a little, little slowly everyone this time the colors must more bluish Much more the colors much more blue dark bluish one blue green or something like that because I want uh, this part to be the colors will be cold there don't overdo it I know I can see clearly just colors there or some plants there Okay, the last part, I uh, will try to put some one tree here, but I will not put any, uh, I will not put any uh, leaves there, so just plain tree. So I have the rue umber and the blue. So I'll just put it here. Put some branches. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the highlights. Excited with the highlights with this one. Uh, white, red, and the yellow. It should be much more light, a light brown brown or some light orange. Okay, I will move more on the top. There, and then I will be using. this uh, small brush to create the branches so I'm using the rumber with a little red there I can create a lot of branches everyone
I can create more branches there but I don't think that would be good and then I'll try to make some orange red and yellow and then white I'll put some yellow I'll put this on the highlights it should be more looking like uh, orange everyone there should be like a bright orange put also here try to put some orange uh, just everyone here there okay the last part I'll just try to add a little lighter browns on the other side of this tree so here Okay, so I think I am done everyone. So I think this is, I am very content with the entire result. Maybe I'll just retouch a little and yeah, I think I'm, but for the tutorial, this is perfectly good. And I think uh, you can do it also. Uh, it will be must, it will be not so easy for the beginners, but I think uh, it's very more, it's very, very challenging for them. So yeah, so it took me almost uh, more than, I think one hour and 30 minutes to finish this one. And, and the entire result is really good. Um, I put plenty of details there it might not be enough but I think it's good for this tutorial okay everyone so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.